Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu Final Fantasy 16. Bin ich hier richtig? Äh, gute Frage, ich weiß es nicht. Nein, bin ich nicht. Wir müssen hier runter. Und da ist noch die eine Sidequest. Ich guck mal, ob ich die erledigen darf oder ob es direkt eine Cutscene startet, wenn ich da jetzt hinlaufe, weil das Ziel, der Zielpunkt ist ja davor. Ey, die... Als ich die wiederholen hat, ich immer den gleichen Mist, ne? Das, das nervt langsam ein bisschen. Ja, man wird instant reingeworfen. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. Ja, Torgor hat sich ja verwandelt. Na gut, jetzt können wir die annehmen. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but there are as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. Oh no. I still wish there was some other way. Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh, thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look. And fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber, over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Ernsthaft, ich dachte, ich hätte mich, ich dachte, ich hätte mich tatsächlich verlesen. Die Quest heißt der Preis der Freiheit. Äh, warum das jetzt was Krasses ist, ist es, äh, weil ähm, die für die Leute, wo ja Crisis Core, also Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core kennen, ist es ja die äh, Theme, also die Musik, wo relativ sehr, also sehr oft und Spoiler Alarm übrigens für Crisis Core, das ist ja auch die Musik, wo Zack seinen letzten Kampf hat gegen diese ganzen Soldaten und dann stirbt. Und deswegen. Ja, ich weiß, das, eine, das kann auch nur ein Zufall sein, aber ich denke halt immer, wenn ich das lese, der Preis der Freiheit, denke ich immer an das. Vor allem auch das Lied, was dann spielt. Sind die ganzen Gegner hin? <lacht> This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. Aber klar, der Name der Preis der Freiheit nach dem macht natürlich auch auf die Quest natürlich Sinn. Ich meine, es ist ja ein cooler Name. Versteht mich nicht falsch. Let 
goblins have been up to their old tricks again. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb, knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy, but neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. Das war jetzt aber auch eine kurze Quest. Obwohl, ja, acht Minuten. Ja, doch, eigentlich eine kurze. Da gab es schon deutlich längere. I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the frost wolf. Okay, voll krass. Das geht hier auf jeden Fall um die nordische Mythologie auch. Da ging es eigentlich irgendwo immer schon. Ne? Fenrir gab es ja auch. Hab ich ich habe es mir irgendwo schon gedacht, dass es Fenrir ist. 
Weil es ja auch eine Summon in Final Fantasy IX zum Beispiel gewesen. Du sagst, dass Jill Togel Togel seine Kräfte gegeben hat. Was? Just like Fenrir. Die Leute nannten ihn mein Hound, aber Togel und Jill waren inseparable. Er grew up als ein faithful Kompanion to the Dominant of Shiva. Und Jahre später wurden seine Kräfte gegeben. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. you you and everyone else but I promise I'll pay you back I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot starting right now just you wait I'll make wonders like this world's never seen then I look forward to seeing them now that that's settled I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka ja, das ist eine gute Frage, ne? Weil er lebt ja noch. Ja, ich ihn besiegt, aber wurde er weggetragen. For Kupka. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tub a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here!
Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May, May the blessing of the crystals, crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Theon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both... You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Do the astrologers all go? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion.
So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. What is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. The Lidlands have been up to them. It's just one thing after another around here. Dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth the Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kopko withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think... With this news of the Dalmechian fleet, and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Wulud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? Or would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists' 
not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waludas who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Na gut, Leute, wie sagen wir im nächsten Part dabei? Final Fantasy 16 und ciao.